Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys uh, the last that I have in this series of cute construction kits from Daiso to make your own little um, kind of styrofoam board pre-cut kit here. Uh, as I've mentioned, I've been sharing with you guys a few of these. Actually, I was only able to find five and I don't know if that's how many there are in the series. But that was what was available at my store when I saw them. So I grabbed them, uh, you know, before they were all gone. Uh, this is definitely um, perfect for summertime. Everybody's making projects for school. Uh, this fits perfectly into that. And it's also just a great summer, you know, gift because it features something perfectly from summer. Things that the stalls that you see at the festivals, the summer festivals at Matsuri. So this one today is the Ringoame stand. Uh, it's candied apple. It says toffee apple, but it's not really toffee. It's more like hard candy um, apples. So um, this is a mainstay at any festival and a lot of times they'll have things other than apples too. Uh, my favorite are grapes. They have the really big Kyoho grapes and then they dip those into the candy. It's so good. It's sort of like a a candy coating that's made out of um, corn syrup so it's it hardens up really good and stuff and if you get them when they're just made then the you know the fruits really cold and the candy's still kind of warm on the outside it's really good so very tasty one of my favorite things to buy at a festival for sure but these kits are really cool they're just sort of like puzzles that pop out and put together the instructions very short the visuals just a real quick thing you know put your picture put it together like this helps to look at the example if you're a little confused um, but everything is really well made I've been really surprised with how well made and nice this is though because it makes for a really cute thing when you're finished too especially if you like miniatures, it's just perfect for that. So it's printed on both sides, really nice quality, easy to pop out. The only tool you need, you don't need scissors or glue, but you do need something to help you pop out these little sections here where you need to get that through. If you have a fingernail, it'd work, but any other thing would probably work good too. So, um, but definitely very cool. I don't know if these are available all the time, but I would recommend if you are visiting, especially in the summertime, what a great summer, you know, uh, souvenir to get this for people because this is just so awesome so um, I'm gonna have the camera on here so I can speed create it to show you guys what it looks like so hang on a second while I turn the camera on for that So that's the apple candy, candied apple stall all completed here for you guys to look at. Um, it's just a perfect example of what the stalls would look like at a festival in Japan. You've got the little flag banner outside at a nice little cute angle and uh, just telling you the uh, different, you know, having all the apples out, the ones already made, wrapped in plastic um, with all the things that you'd need to make it. Let you know that uh, one is 300 yen, which is about probably right, I suppose, for one of those guys. Um, and then the cute little low table for people to hang out on to sit on top of the little cola crates. That's perfect. Um, and then they just have some of the supplies and stuff that they'd use in the back here. We, uh, you call that uh, mizuame, which is kind of similar to corn syrup, but not exactly. But that's what they use to make the candied part of the apple it's not so much a toffee as it is it's like a hard candy um, and it's just a really cute display I mean it looks just so cool from all angles you can really get in there and you know have somebody stand back there and pose pretending they're running the stall here it's so cute so I had a lot of fun putting it together um, there are some parts that can be a little persnickety so if you're a little uh, short-tempered you might want to <laughs> kind of be warned that that can be a, li a little hard but for the most part it was pretty easy to put together um, and the once you get it all together at the assembly it's pretty solid um, stuff doesn't fall out that easily so uh, it's pretty really 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 impressed for 100 yen to get something this cute and nice and this nice little miniature that you can then have you can just have this sitting on your desk how cool would that be I want yeah well I'm gonna do that probably so <laughs> 
<laughs> so I have one more in this series to share with you guys. So look for that. And uh, as always, thanks again so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.